Previously, I haven't uh, indicated my vaccine status because I believe it's a personal decision, but um, actually I am fully vaccinated. I, I did this uh, freely and of my own consent. According to the Australian Immunisation Handbook, um, in order for consent to be legally valid, it must be uh, without undue pressure, uh, coercion or manipulation. Um, the recent announcements about people not being allowed back into Victoria uh, without being vaccinated and the recent rhetoric from the Premier around lockouts uh, and clearly calls into question the issue around consent with vaccines because it's, it's clearly undue pressure and coercion. Um, in Victoria, we're meant to be protected from medical procedures without, uh, without consent by Section 10 of the Charter of Human Rights. I once again demand that the Victorian Government release the Human Rights Charter assessments that they've used so that we can uh, look for ourselves at the, at the uh, reasoning on why they've limited these rights. Um, we cannot become a, a, a society where medical procedures without valid consent become normalised. We also can't become a society where uh, people's rights are dependent on their medical status. And so I say that the Liberal Democrats stand against vaccine apartheid, and I chop up my car. Okay. Can I ask you, Ken, mm. what do you think about, obviously the vaccine passport is going to come into play. Yes. What are the rights that you're concerned about uh, essentially becoming exclusive to people who are already vaccinated? Well, the, the, the Premier's been talking about these ideas of lockouts, so the idea that people won't be able to go to certain uh, venues and events without vaccines, the idea that they won't be able to re-enter the state without vaccines. These sort of things are clearly call into question the consent process around vaccines and whether it is actually legally, legally consensual because it is undue pressure and coercion on people. So you're more concerned about the overarching pressure rather than any individual freedom in particular? Because my, my question to you is essentially what is what are people entitled to as a right? Going to the theatre may seem like a right, but it may not be in terms of a, a human right of place on the Charter. I'm just curious to know, what's, where's that line? I thought we decided long ago that we're a society that uh, doesn't want to discriminate against people, and this is a new form of uh, creating an underclass in society that doesn't have the same rights and freedoms as everyone else based on their medical status. I don't think that we can allow this to become a, a, a precedent that we set for the future. A lot of businesses are now taking it on themselves, regardless of what the Premier is saying, uh, to either say that they need their staff to be fully vaccinated or they even want their patrons to be fully vaccinated. Where do you sit on that? Well, if, if a business chooses to do it itself, then without government coercion, then you know the market, can, the people can decide whether they want to support businesses that discriminate against people or not. Um, as for employees, if, if an employee has entered into an employment contract that didn't state anything about whether they should be vaccinated or not, again, I call in, into question the consent process there. If an employer just all of a sudden says, you have to get a vaccine or you lose your job, that clearly calls into, into question the consent process. So where do we go from here? I think we need to release the, the Human Rights Charter Assessment so that we can see the government's reasoning on, on, on why they're doing these things. And we have, to, we have to make sure that people's rights are not dependent on their medical status. We can't have a society where we have uh, medical apartheid and a new underclass of people that don't have the same rights as other Victorians. One of the basic rights is obviously being able to return home. Do you shock that that was included as one of the considerations in this border uh, or cross-border trial, home quarantine trial? Yes, it, it should never have been included as a requirement as part of this trial. Um, people's if, if people can get tested, uh, whether they've got coronavirus or not, we've been doing that for a long time, um, requiring people to be vaccinated, again, calls into consent, the actual consent around the vaccination process. I'm surprised that more medical professionals aren't speaking up about this.